Hey you guys, this is Jeremy Toth in the DAW. Welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna do a really quick video showing you some really cool tips and tricks when it comes to utilizing automation and your cursor when you're doing screen captures with Camtasia. So let me show you the number one thing I think you should utilize if you are using Camtasia 2019 or newer. Uh, first, let's check out this cursor in the screen capture. I'm gonna scale this up so you can really see it. And let's just watch what's going on. So that looks great, right? What that is, is utilizing the brand new cursor smoothing. If I take cursor smoothing off and play the same clip, you can actually see what I originally did. That is a huge difference, right? So what cursor smoothing is essentially doing is it's taking the recorded cursor, which in case you didn't know, Camtasia actually records your cursor and your screen separate, and cursor smoothing analyzes it and allows you to determine the duration of the smoothing, the delay of the smoothing, the easing in and out, as well as detecting when it pauses. Now this is going to give you a lot more of a professional look and feel. And if you really want to get into it, you can tweak these settings. There are really not many settings to tweak just because it's so simple but it's so powerful at the same time. And uh, personally, I've started to utilize this in every single video since version 2019 came out. But there is one downside to using this. Camtasia 2018 and 19 made the render speed extremely fast. I could render out 4K footage along with screen capture, and I could have a video out in a couple of minutes. Well, because the cursor is moving, it's gonna utilize a lot more CPU processing, when rendering out. So it is gonna slow down your render just a little bit. It's not gonna be slow to a crawl, not that big of a deal. Uh, it's just the way it's gonna be because of how intelligent the processing is. I highly recommend utilizing the fact that Camtasia records the cursor separately because you're able to scale it up and down, you're able to automate the opacity, and you're able to do stuff like cursor magnify. So you can magnify the area where your cursor is located at, you have left click and right click effects. This is really important and really cool. If you go right here to your animations and create a custom animation, you can actually create a custom way of easing into your cursor. Now, in this case, we're going to have it set to opacity zero and the magnifier set to zero. We're going to throw in a custom animation. And right here, we're going to have it set to 100%. And now check out what happens. Now this is really cool because then I can go back here. Automate that down. Bring this maybe over here and you can see it go in and out. Now of course I would need to go here and make sure that the size is zero. Now what this does is this essentially gives you a very powerful tool that allows you to now have a more professional and polished screen capture. Anyway, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will be doing a lot of these in the near future because we're starting to get into the video editing software portions of our tutorials. We have a lot of stuff that's in the works right now, but right now these are really easy to get out fast. So that's going to be it for this video. This is Jeremy Taylor in the DAW. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.